G'day everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the basics of how to add a clock or a timer to your live production. Many broadcasts like to display the time of day to their viewers or have a countdown timer for a sporting event. This can be achieved in vMix through the title section. Okay, so we just need to go to add input, then to title, timer, and then select the timer clock. Now by default this will display the time on my local computer and this will be displayed via the XAML code um, in string format here. So if you wanted to make any um, format changes, you can do it via um, this code. You just need to look up some XAML examples to make any changes. Okay, so just like any other title, I can uh, make changes to the font and the size, um, the color. And now I can come back to my production and say I wanted to make this a full screen overlay, I could change the position of it, um, bring this up here, and then I can overlay that to whatever's come up in the top right hand corner, or perhaps I could create a multi-view um, and add this as a layer onto a particular video or a camera, or I can create an overlay channel where I could set that to the top uh, right hand corner and have it in the middle here. So. Um, those are all options. Another use for the timer is for a countdown or a count up clock. Now to set that, we can go back into the title. Here we can just easily go back into the title editor. Now we have a countdown section here. Now this will override anything that we've set up for the title if we do the countdown settings. If we click on settings, we can set the duration of the countdown. So say we set 20 minutes. Now we can set a stop time as well. So say we had a, a 40 minute match and we want the stop time to be at 20 minutes, we could set that here. Um, so then we got the display format. Now if we click reverse, that means that it will um, count up. So if we were setting a count up timer, we would tick this box here. Then we can click OK. So when we click play here, it will start our countdown timer from 20 minutes, as you can see there. Now you can press pause and play here if you wanted to do that manually. But like in all things in vMix, there are shortcuts for setting up your titles here. So if we go to function, title, you can start, stop, pause um, your countdown from a shortcut. So instead of doing it manually from the title section, you could just set up a keyboard, MIDI control or an X keys button to start and stop your timer. Now you're also able to count down to a particular time. So for example, we use this to count down to the start of our live show. Although we don't always, we don't always make it in time, um, it gives the viewers an idea of when you're actually going to go live. So it can be done um, by going into the settings or we'll create a new input. Um, so I, what I've done is I've created my own custom one. So you can create your own custom title and paste in this XAML code um, into any of these titles. So I've got one here. Click OK now. What I want to do is paste in this code here. So what this will do is count down to 7 p.m. So it will show in hours, minutes, and seconds how long there is to go till 7 p.m. And let's just load this one up. So as you can see, I've created my own little clock title overlay. Um, and now I've just laid over the top how long it is until 7 p.m. until our show starts. Now, some people might not even use it for titling in their live show. They might just use it for this example. So I've got a bright red clock here. So this is just telling somebody, okay, this is the time. So say you're doing a production that started at 3 o'clock. You'll know that you've been going for 27 minutes if you're doing a live show. Or you need somebody to call in at a particular time. Um, you could also do this as a count-up clock to let you know how long you've been going for. Um, so it's, it's a good idea. Some people use it in their multi-view or if they have it down here in their inputs just to give them an idea of, of how long their show has been going for so they don't go over time. Okay, so that's just a really quick look at the time and countdown title in vMix. Now, vMix users are using the timer in all kinds of advanced ways with their own designs, with titles. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about that, uh, take a look and search on our forums to see how people are using the countdown in all kinds of advanced ways in sporting events and, and all sorts of things. So if you have any questions about this, um, feel free to send us an email via our website, vmix.com. Thanks for watching.